everybody, it's Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the brand new petite style caps by Aesthetica. They just released four styles in that petite size cap. We are going to uncover the truth about the fit on these caps coming up. This style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. Be sure to check out all of the new Aesthetica Petite styles at Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below where I'll link all of the styles uh, in the Petite caps as well all, as all the rest of the Aesthetica styles. If you have any questions for us, be sure to reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. We would love to earn your business. When I was a brand new wig wearer, it didn't take me long to figure out that Aesthetica caps ran large. Uh, my own circumference is a 21 and a quarter inch, which is petite to petite average. And I always struggled to get a good fit on Aesthetica. It didn't stop me from buying the styles. They're absolutely beautiful and I didn't want to miss out, but I had to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, to feel comfortable wearing the styles. Aesthetica has come out with four designs featuring that petite style cap. I am wearing the uh, petite Berlin in the color RH1488M. The other three styles are the petite Easton, the petite Sullivan, and the petite Sedona. Now these styles are going to look familiar to you because they've taken their most some of their most popular styles and rename them for their petites collection. So you'll notice this petite Berlin here is uh, fashioned after the Avalon style. And let's see, the petite Easton is fashioned after the Aesthetica Jet. Um, and the Sedona is the Orchid style. And the Sullivan is fashioned after the Jameson style. So these are all styles that we absolutely love and we can now have them in a petite cap. So I do have the original uh, Aesthetica Avalon to compare this to. So I did some rough measurements on these caps just to see what the difference was according to the measuring tape. Now I'm gonna put up a little chart here. I believe I got this from John Renault. Um, but the average size head is around 21 and a half to 22 inches. I think that the size range is 21 and a half to 22 and a half for average. Anything below that, you're, going, you're getting into petite. Anything above that, you're getting into large. So my own circumference at 21 and a quarter is firmly in that petite to petite average. And it seemed like the Aesthetica caps kind of fell in that realm of, I could probably most comfortably wear them if I was anywhere from a 22 inch to a 23 inch. That's probably the sweet spot for the, uh, the typical Aesthetica cap. So it's not exact, but I did measure them out. The original Avalon is approximately 14 inches from ear to ear and about 14 and a half, 14.75 from front to back. Now it's impossible for me to really measure the circumference, but like I said, I really feel it's in between that 22 and 23 inch uh, spot. So we wanna compare those to the measurements that I found on the Petite Berlin. And what I have found is that in every single measurement, the Petite Berlin is approximately one inch smaller than that of the original Avalon. I'm talking ear to ear, front to back, and circumference, okay? So one inch all the way around. Now that's a pretty sizable adjustment, I would say, because it really does take it from average down to a petite or petite average. Now everybody's head is shaped differently, and just because it's petite measurements doesn't mean that it's going to um, doesn't mean it's going to fit you and it's going to feel comfortable. I mean, you just kind of get to know the brands a little bit and you know what works best for you. But I'm so glad to see that they have shortened up some of those measurements. So when I applied the Petite Berlin and really, really thought about the fit and the feel as compared to the original Avalon is that I don't have any gap baggy cap. I don't have gaps um, around the ear. I don't have gaps at the bottom. I don't have gaps at the crown. So that actual one inch shortened measurement on the petite cap really worked wonders for me. But, and again, this could just be my own unique measurements, 
the circumference still was big on me. Um, I felt like the circumference felt very much the same as the original Avalon, even though it's a little bit shorter in terms just of a rough measurement. I still had to cinch in the adjusters as far as they could go. So I felt secure in the circumference measurement. So definitely, definitely without a doubt, uh, this is a smaller cap. And uh, based on how my head is formed and shaped, I still have to make quite a bit of big adjustment in the circumference, but it's beautiful between ear to ear and front to back. So I'm gonna put up a clip here of the inside of the cap. Now on first sight, it doesn't look any different than the original Avalon. All of the technical features of the cap are identical to Avalon. So you'll see that temple to temple lace front and that left uh, monofilament lace part that runs all the way back to the crown. I love that. Um, nice long monofilament part there. And then it's open wefted sides and back. You'll see an open nape and it features uh, the very trademark uh, incremental hook type adjusters in the back, okay? And so I, you'll notice that I had to take those in as far as they can go, even on this petite cap, to get what I felt was a good secure fit. Now, to be fair, on the original Avalon, I actually had to crisscross those hook adjustments and um, try to find and latch it up into where I could get a good secure fit. The problem with that is it creates little gaps and gathers in on the sides at the at the nape area. So in a style like this, it makes it really makes no difference just because it's a curly texture. It disguises any bumps and lumps under there. Um, but when you get into a straighter style, it becomes a little more obvious if you've got really big gaps or gathers in the cap. But I just wanted to point out that even though this petite cap is not perfect for me, it's much improved from the original Avalon that I'm comparing it to in terms of fit. So I am over the moon, extremely happy with this new cap size and some of our very favorite styles. If you have a petite to a petite average circumference, and you may or may not be petite in all of the other measurements, like I say, we're all different. When you get a good fitting cap, it's heaven, isn't it? I'm not used to that. I'm not used to wearing a wig that absolutely feels like it was made for me. It's happened on occasion, but it's it's just a very nice experience. So I honestly believe that if you are of a petite to petite average circumference, that these new petite style designs by Aesthetica will really help you feel more secure in your Aesthetica styles. So of course we can expect variances, right? We should know that, especially if you've purchased wigs online for a considerable amount of time, you just get to know this kind of thing. So I don't, I'm disappointed when I receive a style that has a little bit of a variance to it in style, in color, in fit. It happens in this world of mass produced wigs. My suggestion is if you are of a petite or petite average circumference and you love a particular style that's available in petite by Aesthetica, give it a try. And I would love to have your feedback right below the video here because I think people are gonna return to this as, uh, as a place to seek information. And the best information is information that we share with one another about our own experiences. We just have to be careful that just because one person has a particular experience, including me, doesn't mean you're going to have the identical experience. But uh, knowledge is power when it comes to purchasing wigs online. I really hope that all of this was very helpful to you today. And we will see you again next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.